honestly where people live their lives. Canada's doctors, innovating for patients. Visit docsforpatients.ca. We have always been respectful of responsible owners of dogs, and the majority of the people who own dogs are responsible owners. And sometimes the the issue is. We have always. We have always been respectful of responsible owners of dogs, and the majority of the people who own dogs are responsible owners. And sometimes the the issue as it comes up from people in our community comes up a little bit like the argument on gun control. You know that guns don't kill people, people kill people. And that's a very appealing argument for the National Rifle Association that it's not the gun that's a dangerous object, it's the person who makes it a dangerous object and why why punish all the lawful gun users and the people who shoot recreationally for the acts of a few. But we in Canada have taken a very different approach than they've taken in the United States, is we've said that gun control is good and that not putting guns in the hands of people is the preference. I think that uh, in many ways those who are good pit bull owners or Staffordshire Terrier owners, those people feel put upon that there are rules that impact their ability to enjoy a walk with their dog in public. And I can understand that. It's unfortunate that this dog was bred by human beings in order to be a fighting dog, in order to be a dog that learned how to fight, to kill, and to sustain an attack. And it's only the fact that there are good owners out there, capable people, who are able to manage that dog and create what has become for them a great household pet, a dog that in fact they're very proud of and trust with their family and their children. Unfortunately though, there are people out there that use this dog like a weapon. There are people out there who consider it's part of their macho image in order to have a dog that strains at a leash, wearing a collar with, uh, with points on it, illustrating that they are someone to be feared. And just like bad gun owners, is that dogs can be used in that way. And pit bulls, when they're used in that way, can be particularly dangerous to other humans. The information that we've received, and, uh, and I think there's always arguments about statistics. In fact, I think it's an old saying that there are lies, damn lies, and statistics. And it doesn't matter who's quoting them from what direction. It's that people are going to quote statistics that favor their position. And for people here who are advocates of pit bulls and advocates against breed specific legislation, they're quoting statistics and reports that they think are advantageous to their case and also there are statistics that are quoted again by some people that show that there is a much higher incidence of pit bulls attacking. I rely on our experience in this issue within our own municipality and the fact that 11 years ago council saw fit to put in legislation to prevent this from happening because the public had demanded that legislation. It served us well and I haven't been persuaded and I don't think the members of councils have been, been persuaded that we should take away this legislation. It's been in place for the past decade and I don't think we've been convinced that we should remove this and I agree with what Councillor Jordan said. I wouldn't want to remove this and have a vicious attack on someone, a child in our community, by a pit bull and feel somehow that having withdrawn this legislation I might in any way be responsible for that. <laughs>